Book Talk today, The Rifle by Gary Paulson. As you can see to my right, I guess your left, or the book in my hand. Raider Blue and Excalibur, this is Mr. Braden. Raider White, you knew that because you see me every day. Um, so this book, The Rifle, uh, Gary Paulson, you may know from The Hatchet or My Life with Dogs or a handful of other really great books he's written for people your age. Let me tell you a little bit about The Rifle. Uh, that is the title of this book. I'm about two pages in here. Now and then, with great rarity, there came a blending of steel and wood and brass and a man's knowledge into one rifle. When it all came together just exactly right and a weapon of such beauty and accuracy was born that it might be actually worshipped. Such rifles were called sweet and were almost literally priceless. In that time, weapons were much more important than they are now, were indeed vital to survival, for putting food on the table, for defense, for life, and a sweet rifle was revered and adored. What made such a rifle, a sweet rifle, so rare is that even if a gunsmith made one, achieved such a pinnacle of art, there was absolutely no guarantee that he would ever be able to do it again. It was said, that a bad gunsmith could never make a sweet rifle, but even a great smith might only make one in his life. So as you uh, smart readers may be intuiting, maybe guessing ahead, this rifle, the rifle, this one over here, is indeed a sweet rifle. Uh, as you can see up here, it is made in 1768. So if you know the dates of the American Revolution, you'll know that the gun is made before the American Revolution. It is used in the American Revolution, and it moves with a number of owners. The book follows the rifles to its owners all the way up to the modern day, this old flintlock of rifle. Um, and it gives you some pause for thought. If you have an interest in hunting, if you have an interest in gun control, if you have an interest in gun rights, if you have any thoughts about guns, this book never mentions the Second Amendment, and yet... It deals with America and America's culture in relation to its gun and its gun owners' relations to its guns. No matter what your opinions are about gun control, about gun rights, anything to do with guns, about hunting, about not hunting, about farming versus hunting, all of your ideas are going to be challenged in this great way. Some may be affirmed, some may be, some may change. I encourage you guys to check it out. It's it's a good read. It's a, a pretty easy read. Um, but check it out and tell me what you think. Has it changed any of your ideas?